Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn about get last error action in Power Automate Desktop. So please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely. And if you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please subscribe it. So let's get started. Under the flow control, you will see that you have an action which is called as get last error. The use of this action is it is used to retrieve the last error that has occurred in your flow right and when you use this action it will store the last error in the last error variable right and here you have an option to choose which will clear the error for example in your flow there was an error which was captured in the last error right and then when you have used this error, for example, whatever the value has been stored in the last error variable, you have used this variable to, you know, to send an email or to log that error in somewhere in the file or you want to update somewhere in the database. After that, you will enable this so that it clears this last error variable. That means if another error occurs, so that will be again stored right so this is the use of get last error action i will click on cancel and what i will do is i will click on on block error so in the last video i have showed you that how to use on block error action and on block error action is used to you know to specify the exception handling technique right what should happen if there is any error on a specific action so here you can specify the name of this on block error so let's say i would say open notepad here you can click on new rule and specify the variable if there is any error that will be this variable will be set with the value that you will specify here so for example i would say counter and here i will set the value as one next what i want to do is i will click on continue flow run and then i want to go to the end of the block you can also choose go to next action or repeat action or go to label or go to beginning of the block as per your requirement but in this case, I'm going to use the go to end of block, right? Then I will click on save. So today I'm going to work with the notepad application. Notepad application is opened. I will go to the UI automation windows. And then what I want to do is I want to focus this window right and then i will click on by title and or class then i will click on select window this window is highlighted i will press ctrl and left mouse click we will go back to the power automate and here you see that the title of that window and the class has been captured i will click on save so this is going to you know focus that window after that i will use set window state action what this action will do is this action will set the state of that window i will again click on select window and then i will press ctrl and left mouse click you can see that the title and class has been captured and i want to maximize it okay and here on this action i want to actually generate the error okay so what i will do is i will remove the untitled word from this title okay so that it gives an error because that there is no window opened which which only has notepad it has untitled notepad right then i will click on save so now what will happen is first when i will run the bot it will focus that window and then it will try to set the window state and now when 
it tries to set the window state it will give an error and when it gives an error as we have specified on the on block error action that it should set the value of counter as 1 okay if the value of counter is 1 which means there was an error inside the on block error action right now what I will do is I will go to the conditionals I will take if block if action and here I will choose the variable which is counter and I will say if it is equal to 1 so if it is equal to 1 what I want to do I will use the get last error and then I will check this option so that it clears that error and then I will click on save next action will be for me I will use message box to display the message what was the error I will come here I will click on this variable icon and then I will choose last error and from this I want to choose the message which means last error dot message will give me the message of that error and let's choose another one which is what is the action name so this will give me the action name I will keep the window always on the top and then I will close it automatically after three seconds I will click on save right so in this case what is going to happen is in first place it will try to focus the window right and then it will try to set the window state which will give an error and then it will come to the end of it and here it will check the condition if the counter is equal to 1 then get the last error and clear it and then display the message what what the message of that error is let me run the board focused it gave an error and here you can see it has shown windows wasn't found right let's fix this issue I'll go to the set window state action and here what I will do is I will use the star a star is used to re replace zero or more characters right so here what I'm trying to say is the title can have anything before the word notepad right in my case here you, here you can see it has a title untitled and then notepad right so now if I will run the bot it will not give any error let me run the bot it has focused and it has maximized it right so this is how you can use get last error action in power automate desktop right now if I click on variable icon go to the last error and here you see that you have multiple options for example you have subflow name okay that is another attribute which is available for you to know about if you choose subflow name dot upper so what it will do is it will take the it will go to the last error it will get the last uh, subflow name which will be main and then it will convert it to the upper case right similarly if I in this case I choose for example message and inside the message what I want to do is I want to convert the message into the uppercase right and then I will click on save I will generate the error so for that what I will do is I will remove this star which is used to replace zero or more characters and then I will click on save and then I will run the bot so first it will focus that window it will give an error and then you can see that so here it has shown the you know 
the subflow name and that was converted to the uppercase and then it also showed the message which was also in the uppercase right so in power automate desktop it is easier to you know convert the case of the uh, case of the text values but in the text category here you can see that you have an option to convert you know change the text case right so this is a separate action which is also available but you can also leverage uh, uh, in the variable section you know when you choose when you are choosing the variable there only you can specify if you want to convert it to the uppercase or lowercase right so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day